Welcome back to Geneva and day three of the AI for Good Global Summit here. And I'm joined now by a professor at University of Minnesota, Joe Constant. Hi, Joe. Hello. Joe, I think you're saying to people here, there's a lot of ethical concerns that people have to take into account. Yes, I'm a technologist, but you know, first I was a human and I care deeply about the human benefits that technology can bring and some of the concerns I'm uh, trying to raise at this event are about how we make sure that this technology is usable by people, accessible by a wide range of people, including people with disabilities, people with less access to education, low literacy, and how we make sure that these technologies empower and enrich people rather than uh, disempowering them and displacing them. And why are you saying that? How are they being, I mean, doesn't everyone have access to a computer virtually? I wish that were the case, but uh, while some of the uh, cell phones and smartphones are getting more and more penetration, when you go to places like rural India, sub-Saharan Africa, there are a lot of places where economically computers are not broadly available and even when they are, the training, the education, the literacy to make full use of these wonderful AI technologies just isn't there. Now AI has been around for a while now, a few decades, and I'm thinking about the chess players against the machines. Are, are you basically shouting into a void? No, I, I don't think that the problem is having AI. I think AI is wonderful. The challenge is how do we use it for good purposes? Uh, I think it's fantastic that we're coming up with computer systems that will drive cars and probably be a lot safer than human drivers are. I want to make sure that uh, everybody can get access to those cars. And I think it's fantastic that we're coming up with machine learning that can find tumors on you know, an x-ray or an MRI image. But I want to make sure we don't end up de-skilling the radiologists who, as a result, can't figure out the new things that need to be diagnosed and then we'll discover the machine learning can't figure those out either because there's no data for it to learn from. On here, this is the final day. Um, have you had a feeling that people have been listening? Have they been receptive to your message? Oh, delightfully so. I think it's wonderful, the broad range of people that are here interested in a wide range of the uh, human issues from ethicists and social scientists to technologists who really are deeply committed to the idea that this technology should do good things for people and not just advance for its own sake. Joe, thanks very much. So that's Joe Constant, professor at the University of Minnesota here, and also a key member of the ACM, which is of course the major computer technology and science kind of think tank really uh, around the world, wouldn't you say? It, indeed, the largest professional society in computing. Thank you. Thank you.